Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. We just got a huge drop, as you guys all are aware, here in MLB The Show 24. All of Chapter 2's Team Affinity is out. We got all new Battle Royale, all new event, all new ranked, all new everything. But I'm going to show you guys real quick the fastest way to get through this new Team Affinity because Chapter 2 of Season 1 has changed a little bit. And there's a nice little fast way that we can all play through it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But first, y'all do me a favor. As always, make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you guys have those notifications on also so you always know when we're live here on the channel. We'll be live tomorrow morning right here at 10 a.m. Central Time. You can catch me most mornings right here at 10 a.m. Central right on YouTube. Uh, so make sure uh, you guys catch me for the live stream tomorrow. All right, let's pop in here because they've done some cool stuff here with, uh, with the different Team Affinity. So we're just going to pop into the East and take a look at it. All right, you guys. So here we are inside AL East Season 1, Chapter 2, Team Affinity. I know it's going to be a mouthful all season long uh, getting through this one. It's kind of crazy. But also some cool stuff here along the way. And let's cover that real quick as we get in here. Some of those packs that we all didn't like, that they were only in the show shop. I know we've had to wait a little bit longer to get them for free, but they are putting some of them for free in here, so that's nice. Uh, and if you notice at the bottom down here, and I'll remove the camera for a split second so you can see it, uh, it actually says choose one no-sell former choice pack, so you can't sell it, but it's a 90 overall rare round. So a guaranteed rare round is what it says based on that down there. So that's a pretty cool option they're going to give us. Uh, maybe they're listening in the community at least a little bit. I don't know. I'd like to give them the benefit of the doubt, but we'll we'll see as it plays out throughout the year, okay? Uh, here we go. We've got uh, some more stuff, though. Uh, obviously, you got your AL East packs in here, uh, the choice pack. A lot of people were wondering this one because they didn't tweet it out and let people know ahead of time. It was the only one we didn't know. Arelvis Martinez for the Blue Jays, uh, Xavier Isaac, Jason Dominguez, Mighty Mouse there for the Yankees. Uh, Sedan uh, Rafa uh, Rafaela, I, I, man, I'm going to mess up some names, I'm sorry, and uh, Heston Kerstead right there for the Orioles, so pretty cool cards right here, man, uh, 93 overalls is what these are, I know you guys are probably wanting to see at least a little bit of some of these, so there they are, uh, and then you get another millionaire pack here along the way, of course, we'll be opening those in shorts, you guys know that, uh, and then a bunch of other packs here to earn and stubs as well throughout the rest of the path, all right, so new stuff that they put in here, pretty cool though, in my opinion, uh, and you don't see it as you scroll through here, which is kind of weird because you'd think they would have put it in here and they kind of hit it. So some people might miss it. There is uh, conquest. I almost said showdown. There is conquest. Uh, you guys go in here to your conquest maps. They added a couple of new conquest actually today. You can work on your Phillies uh, City Connect one while doing a little bit of Team Affinity work with those players on your squad from Team Affinity. Uh, but Team Affinity up here at the top, Season 1, Chapter 2. Here's the cool thing, right? You're going to actually be able to earn vouchers now. It's not like it was with Season 1, Chapter 1, where we had these down here. Uh, we've got the East, uh, you had the Central and the West, and you got, what was it, 30,000 points, I think, uh, or progress uh, throughout the, the the process of playing it. You didn't get vouchers for it. Now you're actually going to receive vouchers while you play through it. Cool part being, it's repeatable. It's repeatable. So we're going to take a look here as I move the camera to this other side. And as you guys actually look over here at the goals, we've got goal one, just acquire 100 million fans. That one's not repeatable. But goal two right here, capture five enemy strongholds. You're going to get a chapter two voucher, a season one chapter two voucher. So uh, that's really nice right there, man. Uh, you get five and then get one. Capture 10 and you get one. Uh, capture 15 and you get one. So every five that you beat, you get one in here. So pretty cool. Uh, and then you get a 90 overall era choice pack right here. You get one of these uh, awesome choice packs as your reward. Now that one's not... That one's not repeatable, right, at the very end. So I want to make sure everybody knows that that's not repeatable. But these uh, these ones for vouchers all up here are repeatable. So you can just continue to do uh, a nice team affinity grind in here with your cards that you're working on for solo missions uh, and for those missions for points. Because we're going to go look at that right fast as we pop back in here. We go over here and we look at your uh, repeatable missions, right, with players from those teams. These will knock out points for you very quickly, busting through those, uh, busting through that map and playing through this. You can build a squad with like three from three different teams if you want. If you want to spread it around from different divisions to work on multiple ones at the same time, that's also as uh, you know good as well because you can spread the love around with your vouchers that you earn uh, for the points in these. But uh, as you earn your bosses, don't forget to put them on because it's going to get you 6,000 with your bosses. And it's chapter one 
and two, it says down here as well. Move the camera back over here, sorry. It's a chapter one and two AL East bosses. So make sure you're putting your chapter one bosses that you've already earned, if you have earned them, on your squad so that you can get plenty of points with these guys. Um, it's just going to make a lot of a uh, lot of sense for you to be able to do that, and uh, and same as well with all these. I think these are now these are going to be let's see multiplayer ones. We've got innings pitched, RBIs, total bases. You're going to get all this just from playing in multiplayer, playing online. These are all the online specific missions. They're going to get you quite a few points for some of these ten thousand and eighty eighty four hundred. That's a weird number of team affinity points, but. There it is. Uh, single player missions. As you play in single player through that conquest map, you'll be working on this stuff right here. RBIs with AL East players, uh, total bases with AL East players, and Ks with AL East players. So, uh, And then you've got All-Star Hall of Fame and Legend difficulty stuff that you can get done here if you choose to. Hits with Chapter 2 AL East bosses. So once you unlock the bosses there, you can put them on and 7,500 points you'll get yourself for that. Uh, player exchanges. Of course, we made a video about the player exchanges, how you guys can make a ton of stubs off of this. So you guys check out the video for that uh, to prepare for chapter three before it comes out. So if you guys are interested, but if you want some extra points bonus here in Team Affinity, you can bust out some extra ones in here. It looks like they've added a whole nother one in here. Uh, a sixth, a sixth. I think we only had five in the first chapter. So that's kind of cool for 30K. If you got some extra cards, I got some extra commons lying around. We might see what we get. There is now an extreme moment. If you want to try to hit a home run right here on uh, Hall of Fame difficulty, all you got to do is get one hit on Hall of Fame. It'll get you 10,000 points. It's not repeatable, but if you want to do that one, you can bust that out too. And then we've got the showdown. Don't forget about the showdown. The showdown was, let's see, it was repeatable last time. I believe it's going to be repeatable again. Just to verify though, we do want to go make sure because we don't want to give you guys bad advice on here. We'll make sure that it is. Team Affinity Chapter 2, uh, and it should be repeatable, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, you get four four of those is it saying repeatable yeah here we go repeatable down here at the bottom i'm sorry we missed it down the very bottom repeatable there for you so you can do it for for four vouchers every time you get done uh and if you notice you did get a, a voucher each chapter i believe or each little section of this the first time you don't get any you get them all at the very end so if you want to upgrade your squad um or if you just want to skip to the very end and try to beat it at the very end you can just get your four and you can do this on repeat all day. So showdown is a great method. Showdown and conquest, I think, repeatably with those uh, repeatable missions that you can do uh, with your team and your squads as you're building through it. That's probably the fastest exact way to get through it, man. Uh, March to October, if you guys were queued up for some March to October, you could have those uh, queued up in your save file ready to go at the All-Star break. So you can just cash in for those vouchers right now. I know some of you guys were doing that. So hopefully that worked out for you and you'll get a lot of points. But good luck to everybody getting through this. I like that they gave us the repeatable conquest. I think that's very fun for it. Uh, a nice uh, a nice little something in there. Uh, there's also mini season. Don't forget about mini seasons. I don't want to brush aside mini season. Uh, it is in here as well. And we've got, it says Team Affinity Season 1. It's just the same thing, right? Season 1 never expires is what it says down here at the very bottom of it. You guys can play through this. And it looks like, let's actually go in here real quick. We weren't sure if we could stack vouchers in this for the previous season because the vouchers said Season 1, Chapter 1 on them. Now they say Season 1, Chapter 2. Now, if any of you stacked vouchers, please let us know if you happen to stack vouchers, uh, if you were able to just use them. Uh, anyway, I am curious if they are different or if they just changed it graphically on here. So anybody that stacked any, please let us know in the comment section. I am curious so we can uh, let people know that they can stack them for Chapter 3 when it comes out. And you could have Team Affinity completed immediately if you had it stacked up enough. So that would give us a nice reason to grind the game out, which wouldn't be too terribly bad. So you guys let us know in that in the comments. I hope this video helps you guys out, though, in getting through it. Get to work on that Conquest map. We'll probably be playing some of that here this weekend, as well as some of the new online stuff as well. But Team Affinity, the grind is back, man. We got a nice grind. At least there's some stuff to do right now. We had all ran out a little bit. Uh, a few of us, at least, had ran out here for the last couple weeks. So uh, I'm enjoying it, man. And we're going to pop in and get uh, a little work done on it, too. Hope it helped you out. Do me a favor, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you have those notifications on. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. See you tomorrow morning on the live stream, 10 a.m. Central, right here on YouTube. Thanks. Peace.